Hey, my name is Joe Gilder from Personas, and today I want to talk about some of the great new stuff happening with Studio One version 6. But first, I want to give you a quick overview of Studio One and what makes it great. So I've been using Studio One since version 2, over a decade ago, and I never intended to switch to Studio One. It just, it just kind of happened. I was a longtime user of another platform, and I used Studio One, and I said, well, I like the way they did that. Oh, I really like the way they did that. It made my workflow a lot easier. Next thing I knew, I bought a new computer and just installed Studio One and nothing else. So I haven't looked back since, and it's only gotten better since version two. So a couple of the key features of Studio One that I love. First of all, it's divided into a couple of pages. So if you want to do recording and mixing, you do all that on the song page. If you want to do mastering, you do that on the project page. And the two actually talk to each other really well. So if I have a five song album I'm working on, I can connect all of those to a five song mastering session. So if I come in and I do mix tweaks on the first five songs, next time I open up the mastering session, it says, hey, you've changed these mixes. Would you like me to update the mastering files? And I say, yeah, sure, that'd be great. And it goes and opens each song one by one, does a mix down of each song and plops them into the mastering session. So there's a lot of integration things like that inside of Studio One. It's almost like having an assistant, that specific example, because it goes and does all the mixing for you and plops them where they need to go. The other big thing I love about Studio One is the drag and drop workflow. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If I open up a song and I wanna do something like add an EQ to this drum bus, all I have to do is with the browser open on the right hand side, I can drag Pro EQ onto that bus and that's it. And that works all over Studio One. If I wanna add a reverb send to that same drum bus that's over here, I can go find my reverb plugin I can drag that over to the send section, and as soon as I let go, Studio One does like four different things for me with one click. So I let go, it creates the send, it opens the plugin for me, and it also creates the reverb channel over here with the reverb plugin, and it even names the channel Room Reverb. Those are the little things that won me over. These were the kind of things I would have to do manually every time I set up a reverb send in another system. Studio One makes that really, really easy. So that drag and drop workflow, while initially I thought that feels a little gimmicky, now that I use it, I realize that is a really powerful and easy and intuitive workflow. So there are three versions of Studio One that you can get into from Sweetwater. Studio One Artist, it sells for $99. It's our entry-level version, and it comes included with a lot of our audio interfaces. So if you buy an interface, you've already got Studio One, you can use it, and then if you want to upgrade to Pro later, there's an option to do that at a discount. Studio One Professional is our full version, which is what I'm going to show you today. And then there's Persona Sphere. So if you're not familiar with that, that's our membership, which allows you to get Studio One Professional and Notion, which is our notation software, plus a bunch of extra plugins, extra virtual instruments, and monthly training content from myself and a few other folks at Personas. And that's all included for just $14.95 a month, or there's an annual option as well. All of these are available at Sweetwater.com, so go check those out. The first new feature I want to talk about is smart templates and customization. I know that doesn't sound super exciting, but check this out. If you're new to recording, you open up recording software, you go to something like this song, and you see there's a lot of buttons on the screen, right? It's a lot to take in, and if you're new, you don't know what a lot of those do. So it can be a little bit overwhelming. We've solved that with the ability to hide a bunch of the stuff that you don't need. So if I right click up here and choose customize, I can change this to a very minimal set of features. And now you can look across the top here and across the bottom, you only see the things that you need. So as you get more advanced, you can unhide some of these things and add that functionality. But if you wanna keep things clean and simple, we've got you. The other part of this is smart templates. So when you hit new on the start page in Studio One, you now have a bunch of options of what you'd like to do. So let's say we wanna produce a beat because why not? If I click on Produce Beats and OK, it's going to create a whole new song for me with a bunch of stuff already baked into the session. So I've got a drum machine already set up and ready to go. Step sequencer is waiting for me. I've got a synth bass and then another synth part right here. In addition to that, we've got a tutorial that walks you through all the components of this specific template. So if you're not sure exactly how to get started, this literally walks you through and it even links to more videos to help you get started if you're stuck. This next one's great for songwriters. If you've ever recorded yourself singing, 
and you need to pull up the lyrics, what does that look like? For me, I sit at my computer, I move Studio One over to the side, and then I open up my Notes app so I have my lyrics in front of me. It's just an awkward workflow. Well, we don't have to do that anymore. We now have a lyrics track inside of Studio One. And it does a couple of cool things. First of all, the lyrics show up here across the top of the session. So as I'm going through the song, I can see what lyric is happening at that moment. Also, when we hit play, Studio One actually follows along. So we have like a total follow the bouncing ball situation where it follows us through the session and we can see where we are in the song. You can also see we have a chord display as well. It follows along and shows us what chords we need to play next. So these two windows open during a tracking session can be really handy. What's also cool is I can click around the lyric and the song will actually jump to that section of the song. So if I need to go to that second chorus, if I just click on the first line of the lyric, the transport inside of Studio One jumps to that section as well. You can also attach lyrics to MIDI parts. So here's an instrument with a soprano solo. You can see the lyrics are down here at the bottom. That's not super helpful, but if we switch over to score view, we can now see the MIDI information has been translated into actual written music and the lyrics are right below. So if you have a singer coming over, you can just press the print button, print this out and hand it to them and they've got their sheet music that all came from Studio One, no notation software required. If you love to mix, you're gonna love this. Pro EQ is our stock EQ inside of Studio One. It's wonderful, I use it all the time. A lot of people have requested that we make a dynamic EQ and now Pro EQ has that built in. You'll notice each band has these little buttons here. The S button allows us to solo that specific band and hear what's going on. The D button allows us to turn this into a dynamic EQ. That's basically a compressor that only works on a set number of frequencies and only when you want it to. So with these controls here, I can turn the threshold down and I can set the range to either turn it down when the threshold crosses or turn it up. If you're subscribed to Sphere, one of the benefits you get is access to workspaces. Here's what they look like. I've got a bunch of different workspaces with a bunch of different collaboration partners. But what's cool is while I can't access this from the browser, I can access the whole thing from Studio One. I can even add this song to the cloud by coming to File, Collaboration, and Join. It lists all my workspaces, I can choose one, and then Studio One automatically just uploads everything into the cloud. Then my collaborators can download onto their systems, work on it, and then upload it back. The best part is it knows which files have been updated since the last time, so it doesn't re-upload and download everything every time, it just uploads the files that have been updated, so you're not sitting there spending all your time uploading and downloading. And you can use this collaboration with non-Sphere members. They can actually log in, create an account, and access all the files without having to use Studio One. Thanks so much for spending a few minutes with me to go over some of the new features in Studio One version six. As you can imagine, there are a lot more features. We pack a lot into these updates. There's new features if you work with video, there's a bunch of new mixing features and a lot of other stuff I couldn't cover in this video. To find out more about Studio One, call your Sweetwater sales engineer or go to sweetwater.com.